bambwira ko nciye umuryango bambwira ko nta kimaze ndi ikigoryi kidashoboye guhinga kidashoboye gutunga umuryango no muryango kira uciye nuko nyine nta kimaze nuko nguko umuntu akirwa wari wese kubwira yo yumva amuri ku mutima What is love? How exactly do we define a connection like that? Perhaps there is no accurate answer to these questions. In the end, it all boils down to what we feel and finally experience it. He is called Jeremy a 60-year-old man that was warned not to marry this lady because she was disabled. He refused and still went for her because he believed that the love that they shared was all that mattered and it is what that made all this happen. His family was not at all supportive about what he wanted to do. Right after marriage, they started facing their worst fears and now everyone is laughing at them. This is his wife and she is called Dina. She doesn't know what to do about this anymore and what's happening to them. This is their story. Dina is 55 years old and she has been married to him for more than 30 years now. Dina was born like this, but she did not notice until she was five years old when one of her friends asked her why she did not have normal hands and fingers just like them. She immediately ran home and started asking her mother why she gave her siblings no more fingers, but not her. They had to talk to her and explain that this is how she was born. The best thing to do was to learn and accept that she was different from others. She went to school and started learning, but other children used to make her always feel uncomfortable since they were always laughing at her. With such fingers, there was no way that she could ever hold a pen and write. She held on for some time, but when she could not take it anymore, she dropped out of school. Dina kept on living at home, but the situation wasn't also easy here. She could not at all help out with the housework activities like washing, digging, and a lot more. This is when people in the society all started calling her useless. She was growing up and time for getting married came. None of the men in this society ever wanted to have a relationship with her or even propose to her anything concerning marriage. They said and all believed that she was useless and totally disabled and wasn't wife material. Dina lost hope of ever getting married and now started feeling ashamed and embarrassed of her hands. She always kept on hiding them every time she went out of the house because she knew that people were going to always laugh and tease her each time they saw it. Jeremy says that he started seeing this lady when they were still children. He fell in love with her ever since then, and of course, he knew that she was disabled, but again, he had a strong feeling towards her. They were just friends by then, and he hadn't said anything concerning love before. He was thinking about proposing a relationship to her. When he told his friends about it, they were totally not happy and told him that this was a very wrong decision because Dina was not going to help him with anything since she was disabled. They advised him to look for another woman to make a wife and put her at home. He also went and tried talking to his family about this. They also refused and they did not want him to get married to Dina. 
They said that she was disabled and she should get a disabled husband too because that is what she deserved, but Jeremy did not at all think so. He ignored all that was being told to him by both his friends and family and decided to go and get married to the love of his life though everyone was against it. When he asked her to marry him, she could not believe that this was happening. Dina did not think that there was anyone that could give a deaf ear to what was being said about her in this village and make her a wife. According to what she says, this was the chance that she could not let go and she immediately accepted and got married to him. Obviously, her husband's family was not at all happy about this. They never liked her from then until today. They kept on asking Jeremy to let her go and look for another wife, but he still refused. After they started living together, they hoped to have children and grandchildren just like other couples do. This did not happen and they couldn't have a child of their own. This means that for all the years that they were married, they couldn't have a child and this was one of the reasons that they always gave to Jeremy to look for another wife, but he still decided to stick to dinner no matter the situation that they were both going through. <laughs> They have been living like this for more than 30 years now. They have proved to the world that there is nothing that is ever going to put them apart and they are ready to live and stick together until they die. According to their society, this is true love and they had never seen anything like this before. It was not very long after they got married when her eyes got sick. She could not go to the hospital because she could not afford to. She has been suffering from them for years now and she thinks that she might end up getting blind because she is getting old. Some people say that true love only comes once in a lifetime. So when you find it, you have to make sure that you feel the experience and make it last as long as it can because after you let it go, you will always live in regret for the rest of your life. These two have each other and they expect nothing more. They do not have money and they have been living in a poor life for more than 30 years now. This is still going on because they are ready to live together for more and more years to come. When we asked them about the idea of adopting a child, since they could not have their own, he said that they thought about this a very long time ago. They realized that they were too poor to raise a child since even getting food for the both of them is so difficult. This child was going to suffer and this is the reason why they decided not to adopt any. People advised her to go and try witchcraft to see if they could have a baby. She refused and said that she will wait for God's time however long it will take. She still has hope that one day everything is going to be okay, although she does not know how it's going to work. Love is a friendship that caught fire. It is quite understanding, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. It is loyal through good and bad times. It settles for less than perfections and makes allowances for human weaknesses. Never call people your friends. Never call people your family and never call them your neighbors too. Let your tough times introduce people to you and put them in their right places in your life. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. This is Afrimax English. Do not forget to subscribe. <laughs>